Yo, what is going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to break apart a 1v8 I got on day one of Deadlands on the Magicka Dragon Knight. But before we get into all that, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Guys, if you have PvP clips, please submit them to HorcruxESO at Yahoo.com. I have plenty of clips, but I need more to make this a weekly thing instead of a bi-weekly and sometimes like a tri-weekly or monthly thing, excuse me. Also, we have a community Discord, link is down in the description, and an Amazon affiliate if you want to buy any of Warcrux's gear for the holidays. Well, I have links to all that in the description as well, and yeah, your boy Warcrux gets paid a little bit. So you get some nice gaming gear, plus your help supporting the channel that way. We all win. So. Let's get into the combat analysis. So this is a 1v8 on my Magic of Dragonite, and with any combat analysis, you need to know what sets we're running. So right now we're running Deadly Strike and Iron Blood. I'm not sure what monster set I have on here. It might be Grothgar, but that's interchangeable with pretty much anything, and I'm definitely running the Malakath Mythic right now. I may change that up to Ring of the Pell Order, or when I'm able to farm all the leads to the Mythic items, I'll try one of those out. But I think I'm gonna leave this build pretty much the same. So. Kind of start with the clip here. So we get a big dick leap on this guy here. He's he's out at 5,000. Um, so right here on the skill build, I don't know if you guys have watched my build video or not, but I'm using Ash Cloud. Ash Cloud is pretty much a free to cast ability, and if they stand in it, it does hellacious damage. As you guys see, they're like as soon as they jump into the dots, like it, it just does so much pressure. Now this guy's a tank. And I mistakenly, all throughout the video, try to burst this guy, which is a complete oversight on my part. Um, I should not have committed my leap right here knowing he was blocking. That was really, really bad on my part. I know I'm getting snipe spam. His leap does absolutely nothing. So I'm still trying to kill him for whatever reason. I'm really stupid. I noticed there's way too many people coming, right? So I'm trying to get behind this tree here. Please, guys, use line of sight. I cannot express that anymore especially if you're running iron blood like i am you have to line of sight very very well if you get caught out in the open well uh, things are going to go well notice here on my debuff bar at the bottom that i have an in cap on me i'm poisoned so my healing is going to be absolutely terrible so i'm just on the defensive right now so right here i'm running ashkov because it's pretty op anytime you run behind cover just drop your ash cloud behind cover so if people want to get to you they have to stand in your ash cloud that's kind of what i'm doing here for whatever reason i'm still on this dk um i rooted him just so i can get power lashes right here this is a very important change to this patch because you have infinite power lashes if someone is cc'd in your fossilize or if they are cc'd in your talons you can endlessly power lash them so notice i do that two or three times to get a heal i never even had to go to my back bar so I always like to apply volatile armor uh, over apply it like every 10 seconds because it does do a pretty decent dot. Um, this build I'm running since I'm running a wrestler staff, I do roll dodge a lot instead of blocking. You guys will notice that. Again, I have my rabbits up at all times. I'm constantly staring at my buffs and debuffs. Always keep your buffs up. Oh god, of course my alarm goes off while I'm doing a live recording. So I know my iron blood's up, so I'm not in any risk of dying. So I'm just trying to get some more pressure on this tank. Again, this is a terrible mistake. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, there's a Colossus here. You guys know to get the fuck out of this. So the name of the game is just to get away from this Colossus, right? So I know it's a guy here in the back, Snipes to Army. He is really, really squishy. So I just all in on this guy as much as I can. Notice Power Lash is coming in clutch. Right here, guys. This is a <laughs> this is a bad moment. This is what you don't want to see, right? You don't have your old you know you do not have anything going on. All the guys back here. We was able to get the kill on this guy. But yeah, so we just need to get back into cover. Dodge, dip, duck, dive, and dodge. Eat a meteor. I don't know how I don't die here. Uh, Iron Blood coming in clutch at just the right moment. So right now I'm playing the super kite game. Yeah, my buffs are not up, but I'm trying to apply them. I'm rooting this guy in hopes of getting a power lash. I'm getting yanked around by DC. Uh, I leap right here. This was a desperation leap. This was just to get resources back and to get an overshield. That's why I rock ferocious leap over take flight. So again, I'm going behind cover. I am dropping Ash Cloud. I know it's anomaly over here is kind of I don't know sure if he's new. I focus him. I'm able to to get 
this kill the reason i'm able to get this kill because i have right here i notice i have about five seconds left to my iron blood so i can go offensive i don't have a lot of dots on me i only have like one two dots on me so because of power lash changes i'm able to just power lash completely through all of this incoming damage you know even without wings like iron blood carries it really does guys for situations like that so again i'm dropping ash cloud i don't have an add-on for ash cloud timer which i really need to get this guy has 40k health i shouldn't be focusing him so right now i'm just gonna drop ash cloud and just try to get resources back because i do have a pot coming up but better be safe than sorry so i notice uh, a newer player over here of course i'm gonna leave him instantly is important for you guys to recognize situations like this so i'm gonna go back a little bit here so right here the very first thing i notice is his icon right here so i know he's kind of new he has 30k health yeah whatever and also the cp just be staring at this constantly when you're trying to target people and those will be your easiest targets iron blood is up again right so i have no fear of just going in on someone so i'm going to leap just to gap close and I'm able to get the kill here as well. And now it's all about the kite game once again. Just trying to get my resources back. I'm dropping Ash Cloud. So Ash Cloud will also slow them and it does a decent amount of damage. And it can apply a burning effect. So I try to have my Ash Cloud up in relevant points at all times. DC tries to pull me up. But DC is absolute dog right now. I'm able to get over here and get this kill because of Power Lash. I'm getting Radiant Destruction. I leap just for the Overshield just so I can go aggressive. So again guys, look. You may view Iron Blood as a defensive set, but look what I do. Boom. I notice Iron Blood procs the very first thing I do. I have all my buffs up. I don't have to worry about any of that, right? The very first thing I do, he's actually in my Ash Cloud, which I dropped in hindsight. So this is very like heads up Ash Cloud on my part. So I leap here just to get the resources back. I thought he was going to stay CC, but he was not. But it was nice to get the resource back in the overshield just so I can continue the offensive. The very nice thing about the overshield that you guys get, that Iron Blood actually stacks with it. So you get this big ass overshield, plus it takes 30% less damage. So that's why I'm able to go on the offensive to kill that player. Again, line of sight, drop my Ash Cloud. If I don't drop an Ash Cloud here, I'm Huff. Okay, I didn't drop an Ash Cloud. That's really bad on my part. Again, I am stupid and go on this tank. I don't know what I'm doing. I just think I can kill him, but I cannot. So I'm going to drop Ash Cloud where I plan to fight. A really good habit to get into. Uh, kind of get my camera a different angle here. So whenever a Templar drops the ring, like usually the ring is their safe place. Just go and drop your Ash Cloud in the ring. It pretty much nullifies whatever healing they're getting from the ring. I was roll dodging, I'm, I'm heavy attacking and dual wield. So again, I notice kind of a low CP in the back, a very low health pool, only 19k. I think this goes up 24k. I can confidently burst to this player with a leap and a couple whips. So I'm just getting a resto pool just so I can get my major mending as well. Not only does the resto pool give you major mending, it gives you resources too. People underestimate the major mending aspect of the resto pool. Uh, right here was actually very fortunate. So my Iron Blood was proc and I'm super slow. So it'd be hard for me to gap close him without leaving him. But I get uh, arrow shotted closer to him. So that actually made this easier to uh, do my thing. So we leap here. He's dead. Try to have your engulfing flames up at least before you go in for the leap. I am just trying to record, but I'm like, you know what? There's, there's some more stuff going on, right? So I interrupt the res here. Always pay attention to your reses. Power Lash just gets some health back. I know it's a lower player here in the back. We're going to go on this guy. Drop Ash Cloud just because we can. Right here, I should have taken note. There's a Cold Harbor. Some Siege being set up. I should have been more mindful of this. So I do kind of overcommit for this guy, uh, which is okay because it kind of brings me back to a line of sight anyway. And right here is where your boy Horcrux makes a huge, huge downfall. And it's really unfortunate because this Onslaught could have went on for... I don't know how long, but here's three guys. His Shami kid. I really hate this guy. Oh, you hate to see it, guys. You hate to see it, even with Iron Blood up. Oh, man. So at this point, there's not much we can do. We get caught in a standard. We get hit with Cold Harbor Ballista. We get hit with the Firepot Trebuchet. We get hit with the Fossilize. And, you know, even Iron Blood can't carry us through that one. So that was Mistake that I made that 
I need to work on and preach to you guys. Be aware of your surroundings at all times. This siege right here ruined this. This is 1v8. This, this could have went on. As soon as I saw this first rock come through right here, I should have been like, okay, I should probably not run back to this godforsaken tree. But I'm a creature of habit. It was a nice thick boy tree. I can line the side around. And what do I do? I run exactly back to the spot where the cold harbor and bolt was. And that's that's it. Little mistakes like this can you know ruin the rest of your clips. Yes, it was still a pretty decent clip, right? But right here it's like, uh oh. <laughs> you know, it's it's over. So Hopefully this is a little enlightening, guys, of kind of like how the Mag DK is performing this patch. And for everyone who said out there that Deadly Strike is not good, it's obviously pretty good. Uh, be around Burning Spell Weave, you know, things like that. But Dual Wood is definitely the way to go to this patch. In love with it. But uh, yeah, that's been a combat analysis. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please hit me up in the Discord or down in the, the towel section. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please, guys, do not forget to like and subscribe. Also, I have a Patreon if you want some PvP coaching. It's pretty awesome. So I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace. Yo, what's going on, guys? Boar Crux. Why the fuck would I say Boar Crux? God. <sighs> Fucking Horror Crux. Yo, what's going on, guys? Horror Crux here. Welcome back to the channel. And today... Ugh. I, I hate this. Ugh. <sighs> Breathe, breathe. Yo, what is going on, guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel and. Ah. Uh...